Hello, your tech admin here. Um, today I've discovered a new screencasting application um, for Linux. Um, it's based off of um, FFmpeg's um, CLI utility, um, which I didn't even know existed. I didn't know you could screen capture with FFmpeg, but um, you know, you learn something new every day. But basically, it's just a front end to that, um, and it is called Kazam. Um, it's very early. This is a very early release. It's not even version one yet. It's version point eleven. So um, it doesn't have that many features at the moment. But other, <laughs> it it's a really good screen capture program so far. I mean, um, it already blows away the other ones like Istanbul and there's a couple other ones that are just trash. And this one already blows them away. Um, it's, there's not a whole lot of features now, but I'm really looking forward to future releases because once it's become more full featured, I'm definitely probably gonna. I said definitely probably that it makes sense. I'm pr I'm definitely gonna switch from record my desktop to this. Um, this is just a lot more streamlined, and record my desktop's getting a bit unruly here lately. Um, with problems with my uh well i don't know it might be my sound card causing this but lately i've been having a lot of staticky problems with my audio and i tried turning down my pcm volume and some other stuff but nothing's worked um so i've been having to import my audio from my videos into audacity and try to get some of that static out and it's it's been a mess but um this is this is a really good program i really like it so far um when you record it gives you this nice little window um, touch your recording's about to start, and then you know you record with who, and you can pause recording in the middle. You know, just about every screen catcher program has that feature. Finish. Um, when you finish, you get this window. You can save it to your hard drive, or you can open it in one of your um, video editors directly. That's pretty nice. And um, up here it says Kazam Screencaster. And when you use this one, it, um, basically you can upload it to YouTube right from the program. Now I wouldn't use this because I like to edit my videos first. But for someone who likes to just push out screencasters or screencasters, screencasters would be great because you wouldn't even have to leave the program. You could record and then upload all in one program. That's very nice. So um, even in its early stages of development, it has a, a great feature like this, and I'm really looking to more, looking forward to more good fe features in the future. Can't talk this morning. Um, uh, I will say it was kind of annoying to install. The first PPA that I got was invalid or something. And finally I found the right PPA. And I'll probably post it um, in the video. Make it easier for you guys. Uh, but besides that, yeah, this is this is a great program. And I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm looking forward to future releases. And I hope they keep developing it. <laughs> um, so that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time.